recently when you thought this could be your last month as an Oriole? No, I don't even think about it, honestly. You know, I try to go out there and I don't even, all I know is that we're in July because it's my birthday on Friday. So, um, you know, other than that, I just go out there and just play. You know, it's Groundhog Day for us every day. So um, we don't even think about it like that. And just go out there and play every day. Every day is a new day. Every day is the same day. And just got to get ready to play. I mean, can't handle any of this stuff, you know. Just go out there and play. Once I, once I step on that field, once I step in this, you know, this clubhouse, I put on my uniform, I go out there, practice, do everything I can. You know, those are the only things I can control. Those are the only things that, you know, matter to me, which is going out there and performing and being the best player I can out there to help us, help out a team, help out my team um, win some games. Do I want to play for a contending team? Yeah. Do I want to go to the playoffs? Yeah. Do I want to win a ring? Of course I do. Um, you know, those are all things that every baseball player wants. So, um, you know, for me to go somewhere and help out a team, obviously, um, you know, I don't know if, if, if it'll be here or if it'll be somewhere else, but... Um, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power to, you know, help help the team out. What are your impressions of that? I know it's only been two games that you played them, but what are your impressions of that team across the way been just in those two games? They're played? a good ball club. Good ball club. They're all young. They're, they're hungry. Um, you know, they want to win. So um, they've been impressive. They got a good good ball club over there, and um, you know, really can't really t- can't tell you more about it because I kind of you know they're on the other side, so I don't really see them that much, but. Um, you know, they're very, very good ball club over there. Knowing the people who run the organization, would you be surprised if there wasn't a very aggressive um, move from here to get um, even better? Obviously not. I mean, I know how Andy works, and, um, you know, I've, I've seen those guys work, and they've, they've turned this organization around, so I'm sure they're, they're going to try to do the same thing on the other side. Do you have to play shortstop, or would you be open to third base wherever you end up? I'm, I'm playing short. That's the position I want to play. That's a position I, I know I could play and produce. So if you go on the market, you go on the market as a shortstop, and that's one of the stipulations for signing that you play shortstop? Yep. What, what prompted that decision to, to, to just make that move? Because you were so good at third base. I've been a shortstop my entire life. I played third base for a couple of years, and um, you know I did well, and I established myself as, as, as an elite player because of that position. But at the end of the day, I've been a shortstop my entire life. and. Um, you know, I know I could be a way better player at the shortstop than I was at third.